Miss Claire Lawrence. Okay. Hey there. I read, uh oh, there goes Miss Green. Hi. This is waiting for, so it's probably up a little, it takes a little bit of time. Hey Janice, how you doing? Okay, so I don't know if you saw the short or not. I kind of peeled off the stencil. I couldn't help myself. This one. But I did save one of them to peel off. And I thought I would do a coat of resin on it just to have it protected. And then we would play with it from there. So let me bring you guys in. Hey, Diane. Diana, sorry. All right, well, hand me the thing. What you looking for? I'm going to do that. No, I'll just do a uh, Passover. Flyover. Passover. Okay, so this is how this piece turned out. And I did a quick coat of resin um, just a little bit ago. Oh, did you like the short? I figured, it, I, I don't know, something about peeling that was just, just really satisfying. So I used this stuff, which is amazing quick coat. Um, it's the same product as the quick coat from stone coat, but it has UV protection on it. It's also really cool for tumblers because it's, you know, it's a fast turnaround. I believe it's about three to four hours curing time. However, when you mix it up, you've got about 15 to 20 minutes worth of time to play with it. So it has all the nice properties of quick coat, but added UV protection, so it won't turn yellow like in a split second like Quick Coat does. So this stuff is still kind of on the tacky side. In other words, I can leave my fingerprints in, or my fingernail mark in it. And I usually will leave a puddle on the side if it's something that I know is time sensitive. And I could peel it off, but you can see it's still on the flexible side. But it's holding it, you know... It's holding its shape really well. It's no longer tacky. So I can still manipulate this piece. And that's what we're going to do. So, or maybe I should get the other one. Y'all want to see the other one? I can unveil it and peel off that stencil too to kind of get that little satisfaction going on if y'all want. We can do that right now. How about that? I'll, I'll, I'll go get it. You're going to get it? Yeah, where is it? Uh, it's in there. In the, my drying rack. <laughs> Can we get it? Just give me a second. Okay. It's a longer piece. It may be a problem. Got it. Okay. Relax. Trust me. I trust you. Okay. I'm going to come over closer so that y'all can get that satisfied feel. So, this is how this one dried up. And I'm probably a lot louder, so I'm going to try and keep my voice down a little bit. Okay, now Mikey, you gotta be quiet so everybody can get the oohs and ahs. Here we go. All right. And this is how it looks. You definitely like your oohs and ahs, don't you? Well, who doesn't? Right? <laughs> Your ASMR. I did a bunch of videos awesome. when I first started with uh, peeling uh, resin out of cups. I mean, I was already mixing cups like crazy anyway. So why not? Do the ASMRs and found that there was several people that were like, using them just before they go to bed. And I didn't realize that... In some cases, it actually causes pain relief. I'm not sure I understand that whole po policy and all that. Or it, it helps them relax as far as, I think it's anxiety or something like that. And so the peeling, so the peeling sounds helped with that. Go figure. <laughs> if I was helping people peel, I'm okay with that. Hey, Kim. Hey, Shannon. All right, we got Mikey in the background. I didn't say anything. Hello. <laughs> I'm the cameraman. You're the cameraman? You're the go-to go dude? 
Okay, so like I said before, I coated this one with resin. I uh, did an amazing quick coat just this earlier this evening, um, this morning, probably around 1130. So it's had about, well, it's had about three and a half, four hours to cure. So it is cured to the touch. However, I could still stick my fingernail in it and leave an impression. So if anything you're adding is sensitive to that and it needs to have the full cure time, then I would encourage you to wait another three hours or so to get to that really hard cured state. All right. Ah, good day, Sue. Sue is joining us from Australia. I have a mate. A mate. <laughs> I have a mate. So, because we added the patina in this, want to go ahead and put it in the overhead? Yeah. Thanks. Am I setting it up enough? Okay. We're about to lose a tripod. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> It's all good? Okay, cool. All right, since we did the patina and all that, I uh, messed with the aquas, I thought I'd get a couple different Posca pins and try them out as far as matching a little bit better because they do vary a little bit in color, as you can see, and to figure out which one would work the best. And I think I'm kind of leaning towards this one here because it's got a little bit of green in there. Which is that one, yes. <laughs> we'll make sure I put the right one up. Oh, and Sue, you were co uh, concerned about the bubble. I thought I would let it ride, and I didn't adjust the bubble at all because I was really interested in how this background works, and it kind of has that uh, old world, like old paint job kind of feel to it. And I thought it would give me an irregular edge right here. And it did, but it still did capture the edge of the butterfly. So, still really happy with that. So that stencil stuff works really good for giving it interesting texture in the background too. Um, and I might explore that a little bit more because, <laughs> okay, I'm having a little bit more fun with that. All right, so I thought I would embellish today, and I even got my adhesive out with some gold foil in case we want to mess around with that. All righty. So Mikey has been reading like crazy, and he's been reading stuff about marketing, which sounds really interesting. And we are going to be doing some brainstorming today. I can't wait. You know what? Can you give me the, um, yeah, turn table thing? Lacey Susan up there, the small one. Will that work? Yeah, that'll work. I might even elevate it a little bit more anyway, just because. <laughs> Triangle on all these? Yeah, trying. Hey, hey, it's still working. I'm okay with that. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Um, well, <laughs> anything can go wrong. Let's see. It sounds squeaky clean. Who? I'll leave you to it. Okay. You gonna be listening in? I will. Okay, cool. So just call me when you need. I'll do that. So tonight is Tish's Artapalooza uh, at seven o'clock. I'm trying to help her out a little bit and help promote her her channel. And her channel is the Artist Haven. And if you're an artist, uh, she's got a little bit of description or a little bit of information in the description below her lives for Artapalooza. And they're always on Wednesday. But a bunch of us will go hang out and be creative. And you never know what happens. I mean, it's like a bunch of friends connecting together and giggling and doing their own thing 
and we all have unique talents so sometimes you'll get everybody's doing alcohol you know alcohol ink or sometimes it's like somebody's sculpting and somebody's doing uh, acrylics and you know paper making and all kinds of stuff so you never know what to expect Ooh, I'm already liking that okay cool I don't want to do too much blue because I think blue will take over and I want it to be an accent Can you hear the squeaks? Right? Except for without all the extra mess, because that would be a hot mess. <laughs> you know, we ought to do an art of Palooza, like a marathon, just like one day, just see how long it'll go. Of course, we may have to have pee breaks where we all go run off and go do our thing. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tonight. I've been like racking my brain. It's like, what am I going to work on? It's like sometimes I want to start on something new. Sometimes I want to pick up a piece and continue working on something. I don't know. Janice, what are you going to work on tonight? And Janice does, I don't know if you want to call it collages, but it's definitely mixed media. And she... Um, and here's a bunch of different uh, three-dimensional pieces together and there's different treatments to them um, burnishing different dry brushes things like that and the way she layers them up is just is just about genius it's really cool I would not be hurt whatsoever if one happened to you know come towards my house I'll tell you that <laughs> They're really cool. Hint, hint, wink, nudge, nudge. nudge. <laughs> Maybe we can work out a plan. Okay, so I've got my crumb marker. I know this has got a lot of copper in it. Let's see, do I have a skinny one? This might be the skinniest one I got. Let's see. You have no clue? Okay, I feel better. All right, I'm not just going to do a little piece here. So we have a Renaissance festival that's close by. It's called, um, was it Sher? Yeah, I think it's Sherwood Forest. Um, and... I kind of want to like go there one day just so I can get a henna tattoo on my arm. I did this uh, neat thing uh, when my nephew passed away, which is why I have a lizard on my arm. He, he loved lizards. And uh, me and a good friend of mine went and sought out a henna tattoo or, or I guess they're just henna artists and had her draw lizards going up like a bunch of little lizards like they were crawling all over my arm uh, and I wore that for uh, the service because he was he was 18 when he passed and I think sometimes when you know, when they're that young, it's good to show things that are kind of their personality and stuff. Because you're going to have a lot of young people also in that 
service. And I think they, they can relate to that. That's what we did. And it was very, it was a very healing moment. It almost has a southwestern vibe to it. Oops. Yeah, whenever I'm doing markers, like for details of my illustrations and such, I'll have some kind of pad around to blot my markers occasionally, keep the um, liquid flowing. And I have this uh, clipboard that I've got real thick paper on it that I always use for that purpose. And it's covered in stickers. Hi, Sylvia. Yeah, it was, it was a really kind of, it was a cool thing. And Mikey's trying to talk me into uh, telling more stories on my lives. And that one I'm not ready to dive into yet because that will be a stop everything kind of story. And it'll catch everybody. It, it's, it's just a tough one. Meaning my nephew. And... Just a quickie sum up on that one without going into too much detail. We uh, raised him for like the last five years of his life and he was going through a lot of stuff. It was a big challenge for us. All of us. So he's not just, you know, I never considered him my nephew when he started living with us. It was almost impossible to, you know, he was, he was my son also. I mean, how, how can you not when you're raising a kid? I mean, you're, you are a parent and if you're trying to be, I'm not saying that you're anybody else is, is or is not, but in my world, you give you give the kid, you know, 100% of what you can. Um, and they, no kid deserves any less, I think. And so because of that, you know, we opened up our hearts just like we did to our own sons. And since my boys were much younger during that time frame, they took him in too, and they thought of him as a brother. Now let me just say there was a lot of Pokemon going on around my house and Minecraft. Looking cool. It's Mike, right? The dances with our marks, and welcome. All right, let's see now. Yeah, I'm almost holding my breath on this one because I have to reach so far and I'm like trying not to mess up the other edges.
Can you guys see okay? Get to talking as soon as I'm done with this area. All right. All right, let me bring you guys down. Let's see. Hopefully I'm not upside down. Yes, I am. Okay, let me try this again. Excuse me as I turn the phone around. Hey, Nadia. All right, so this is what I got so far. I'm not worried about being accurate. It's like I want to enhance. And it also brings in a little bit more of an artistic appeal to it by having it being not as precise as the stencil, which I'm kind of digging. I'm almost wondering if I should get, like, I kind of like in these deep greens and these browns and bringing in some colors like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go get my whole drawer of markers. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, you like the uh, peeling video? It was kind of fun. All right, let's see. That is green. Let me see. Yeah. They seem to be starting pretty quickly. And these are those kind, I don't know if you've used Posca pins before, but it's an acrylic based paint. And it's like the old paint pens where you squish them down. I shouldn't say old paint pens. There's a lot of paint pens that do that still. All right. So there's the brown and the green. The green's a little on the bright side. I don't know. But I am going to mess around with the brown a little bit. See if I can give it a little bit of dimension there. Let's see. Or should I do brown at all? I mean, maybe not. I have a copper here. Let's give that a go. Ooh, let's try copper. So I'm using Amazing Quick Coat was the resin. I just did it a few hours ago, so it's still kind of on that, what I want to call the rubbery side. You can still touch it, obviously, since I'm all over this thing. It's just not that hard cured stage. Okay, so 
You see what I'm doing it? Oh, look, it is. Hmm. Crud. Okay. Brown. Brown is almost the same tone as the copper. That kind of works. Two. So I'm going to test one of these boards out with the alcohol dyes and see how the alcohol dyes behave. I knew the inks would do just fine. But I wasn't sure if the dyes would leave just a ton of residue on the stencils. But since it left such a neat texture, now I kind of want to try it. I love my turntables when I'm doing something drawing wise where I have to get all over the board. Helps me out a lot. All right. Oh no! Stay safe! Sue's so having some issues with storms, and I get that. At my old place, it's like you and had a whisper of some storms coming through the internet would drop like a crate just drop super fast hi Evelyn well I actually what I did is I did a stencil um, this isn't the exact one here and I put a bunch of alcohol ink on the back on the board put a stencil on top let it dry and peeled it up and that's what the bulk of the color is coming from and so i just threw a, a coat of resin on top of it and uh, about three hours ago i did the amazing quick coat and i'm just embellishing so i'm having some fun with the doodles let's see what was i looking at No, I'm gonna go all the way down. Scareek. Oh, Mikey, I have to brag on him a little bit. Um, especially since he's not up here. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, I got this bread from the grocery store, and it was a cranberry, um, I think it had some kind of nut in there, and he went and took some slices of it, put it in the skillet with a little bit of butter, and toasted it in the skillet, and just sprinkled some Parmesan, uh, shredded Parmesan on it. And for some reason, just the combination of that and um, toasting it in the skillet with butter, it, it adds a different flavor than if you toast it up regular. It was phenomenal. Uh, it's just a lot of really good flavors and such. And so we're going 
we've already concocted a couple different recipes where we're gonna use that same bread and maybe have some scrambled eggs with it and a couple slices of avocados and I think that would be like man iron chef type of level of flavors okay maybe not iron chef but you know what I'm getting at it it tasted good let me just put it that way it tastes really good I did not do any embellishments to the one I did yesterday. However, that could be what I could do on um, Tish's live. Let's see. I'll have to figure out if I got enough time. Let's see. Four. Her thing that starts at seven. Oh, that's pushing it as far as the resin. I'd probably do the embellishments directly on top of it and then resin over top of that. That might work. All right. So if I were to add another color in here, I wonder. Just to have some fun. I've got a, a violet and kind of a blue violet color. Actually, deep blue. Yeah. No, I love my purples. I think I'm going to go with the blue. This is fun. That would be cool. Oh, good luck on the whole switching the TV. I only just recently did that. Like, started watching a YouTube video on my TV, and I did it last night. I was like, why haven't I been doing this? Now, granted, it's going to be difficult for me. I, I do a lot of modding for... Um, different channels and that would be difficult because I like to have access to the computer to be able to throw links up there and I have a couple you know word documents that I have regular links in I'm the copy paste queen when it comes to links but just for just kicking back and enjoying and watching the show man it was it was nice. Oh, this is making squeaky sounds. So I'm in the process of putting together a book for the, all the alcohol dye recipes that I'm making. And in fact, I'll show you the wall of, of alcohol dyes that I've already mixed up. Because <laughs> there's quite a few up there. 
Um, any rate, somebody suggested to put a, together a book of combinations of colors. And if that would be helpful. Like you could just fumble through the book and, and look for like, yeah, I want to do the blue and green tonight or something like that. Would you guys be interested in that? You still can't hear me? Do I need to project myself? Well, I don't get that very often. Usually people are telling me, oh, bring it down, Clara. <laughs> You're a little loud. All right. Let's see. Okay, I will bring up my voice. Uh, now I got nothing to say. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to do a little bit more chrome on this. Anyway, uh, so, so I'll just go ahead and repeat what I was saying just to help you out a little bit. Um, so I'm doing some books on alcohol dye recipes. And I was thinking about doing a book of combinations. Um, like what it would look like putting, say, you know, a, a blue and a green together and how they would mix well. On the canvas or if it wouldn't work well and these these are going to be like PDFs in fact I could probably put together um, one with alcohol dyes and one with alcohol inks because I've got quite a few pinatas and uh, Rangers I don't have all the colors but I have, definitely have a few <laughs> quite a few <sighs> maybe an embarrassing number of few I don't know where my lid is. Okay. I'm getting carried away here. And I'm okay with that. But the alcohol dyes are just simple recipes of, you know, how many drops of a little light dye going in there. And then um, I'm going to do a batch of the resin art colors and not just mixing the colors straight on, but combining different resin art colors together. Um, two, let's see. This is kind of fun. I'm going to like this. This could be meditative. So these packs of stencils, there was uh, two of them, and I think they came in packs of either 10 or 12, but they're all like 12 by 12 and mandala like so they're really cool some look very um indian influence i mean asian indian uh and then some you know vary from there might have a lot of swirls or something like that in there All right, if you were to add some foil in here, where would you add it? And I know that's a hard question to answer probably while watching this. All right, let me break it up a little bit. Okay, so there's some larger leaves. I'm just gonna call these leaves. Uh, like the very exterior one and a bigger inner leaf um, and then there's these little petals in the center here might be interesting so I'm trying to figure out 
from there as far as where to add some. And I got gold out, but I'm not entirely sure I want to do gold. Pearl or rainbow and you're in? Ha! Ah. You know, I could brush on some alcohol inks and just gold or silver or I should say brass or silver in those areas too. And that way you have the other colors still showing through. Get some of these dots bigger. That row is really big. Do you do that too where you start off either strong or light and then uh, end up the opposite when you get meet up with your start point there that helped out oh i like this i like this a lot all right i think i'm going to it's very hard to draw a nice circle when it's catching. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. And I wonder if I should wait a little bit because this is so rubbery. Okay. Enough of that. Let me get some silver. Right. So I use these cups all the time with resin, and you can get lids on for them, and they're great for any other projects you have around the house. Or, you know, even just outside projects. And I use the lids on these things all the time. You know what? I shouldn't open that up. All right. The inside of the center leaves. Oh, these, kind, these guys right here? That would look really good. Okay. I'm getting the Mona Lisa bottle out. <laughs> okay. Change of plans. We're using this one. The bottle with the lady on it. That's a nod to my good friend, Miss Erica. I made it work. Okay. <laughs> You're like, darn it, I ran up here for no reason? Sorry. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Good luck. Thanks. All right. We are going to do that. Is that it? Yeah. This stuff dries pretty well. It's um, a gold foil adhesive. 
for those who don't know, um, and basically you just brush it on, allow it to dry, and apply your foil on top. And then I use makeup brushes, which are super soft, and then you can buff that stuff in and it gets a really nice smooth texture. I've got a couple sheets, but I actually kind of prefer the um, shredded foil. And I got a large container from Amazon, or at least I say it's large now because, man, I haven't made much of a dent in it. I really keep on get, pulling out bits and pieces of it. It just seems to keep on expanding. Hey. <laughs> go through all of it before my lifetime that would be an amazing feat I think you're there and just do a really big project So use a throwaway brush. Don't even pretend to go use a nice one. Mm -mm. It's just not worth it. Unless you, I, I don't know, wrap up your brush in something that's nice and airtight, like completely airtight. Let me steal some of this adhesive. Because you're gonna mess up your brush, I can tell you that. So I usually use the adhesive from um, Jennifer's artist paint, um, uh, artistic painting studios, because it is awesome. Lower the lids on just a little bit too tight, and I'm gonna have to work on that. Even though I put some. Press and seal on there. Somehow I got the lid on there too tight. Oops. All right, I'm almost done. Got a couple more to go. It does have a rustic look. I agree. So Sue, what is your favorite accent marker? Is it chrome? Because I think that's like on my uh, short list of top favorites too. You guys see me using it all the time on my dragons anyway, so, you know. Let's see. I don't know, just something kind of came to me and I thought I'd do a little brush stroke here. something almost invisible which is hard to meet up in the middle but that's all right oops
So I think that we have a critter in the backyard and I'm wondering if he moved with us from the old property to this one. But I saw an armadillo yesterday. And since we got rain the last couple days, there's a bunch of holes <laughs> in our lawn. And he's welcome to stay just as long as he doesn't bury himself under our house. He can he can live out in the shed. Hey, I think we lost the internet. No. Really? Oh no. It's out. Crap. Is it still gone? Looks like it. it okay. We're using the cellular. Alrighty. Um, so phone's using cellular right now. Apparently we're having a bit of an issue about internet. Uh-oh. Uh, so I can't see your comments on my iPad, which is a bit of a bummer. So... Sue, I'm feeling you on your issues with the internet right now. A little bit more so than normal. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. We are almost done with that. I've got one more row to go. One more leaf, I should say. The flex your credit selection. Sorry. That was loud. That was loud. Okay. So let's see now. My little dot. Actually, that. That's what I do. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Go ahead and text Daddy. It's still going on the live, by the way. Yay! If you want to talk, that's cool. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's focused because I'm drawing a little bit. Okay. I think I am done. Done, 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 done. Yep, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to go Can you add something in the chat? I can try. Okay. But I'm getting pretty bad signal. You're getting bad signal? Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying. No, it's fine. We just do the best we can, right? All right. Oh, there's the wood. I think you're still alive on further. Okay, I'm going to keep going, guys. I don't know if I'm end. on or not. Um... Just gonna keep trying. The less the foil goes in my thing, the better. All right, bear with me. It's gonna be a little bit loud. Let's see if I can hurry up this drying process. Everyone's excited for you to keep going. Okay, we're gonna muscle through it. Chats when they come in. Yeah. Okay, Denise cool. is super excited to see this done. All right. Says, yes, keep going. All right, well, let's enjoy it. Hey, everyone.
This stuff does seem to dry pretty quickly. But I was just trying to hit the those little swooshes I just added at the last second. Alright, I'm gonna try and do this without getting foil everywhere. <laughs> right. Alright, so let me show you these real quick. I got this idea from uh, I have a little buffing brush that is similar to this. It's just got a small little handle that I use on my makeup. And I saw somebody on a video and he was um, an artisan over in actually in Italy or someplace like that where they were gold leafing a huge piece. And they had a brush that was similar, meaning like a ton of bristles in a small area. And he had both a round and a flat one. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that brush would work. So I ended up getting this little makeup kit that had like all these brushes on it. And right now I probably, my go-tos are these three, but I have used all of them. They, they've come in handy. And it makes it a lot easier for buffing it in. Especially with, uh, you guys will see me use this one a lot when applying chameleons to uh, molds. All right, here's the fun part. This stuff is fly away and fussy. Oh, well. oh yeah, it sticks super easy. And yeah, no, no breathing around here, by the way. I'm just hoping it doesn't stick to the fresh resin. That's what I'm worried about. Achoo. Ah, you're so funny. You're so funny. <laughs> okay. Are you in there? You're getting you have a transaction in live chat happening. Sue Ashworth is saying she can't get Arch Quick Coat here. Oh no! And Evelyn's offering to send it. Nice! Now, Evelyn, you might have to jump through some root, uh, some hoops. I think it is um, FedEx that's doing those kind of um, shipping overseas as far as the liquid and such. So, I think that's what um, Erica and uh, Rhonda use whenever they have to ship international. All right, it is sticking, yay. And it doesn't seem to be sticking too badly to the resin, so I'm happy about that. Okay. I'm trying not to breathe too much. Foil looks different. I mean, even though I'm using the chrome brush or the chrome marker and stuff like that, the foils just have a different type of look to them. See how floaty they are? It's crazy. <laughs> it's wandering on you. It is wandering. It is definitely wandering. This is one of the reasons why I like to use the pieces because I don't have those definite edges that you get with squares, or at least I haven't had enough practice with the squares to work with work around it so that it doesn't you don't see, you know defined squares in your foil pieces. There, now I can get the words out. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm just trying to get silver on everything right now hmm. before I get it buffed in.
And no, you're not going to be able to save all your leftover bits, but you might be able to save some big chunks. Unless you're just uber patient. Which I am definitely not. All right. Looking good, Mama. Thanks. All right, I think everything is covered. Looks like it. There, got all the little bits. Oops. All right, come here, so right here. All right, time to buff the sword out of this stuff. Gotta get everything here. Yep, everything's got silver on it. Okay. Denise is liking where this is going. Is she? Cool. Yeah. Looking good. Okay, so I'm going to use my flat one here, and I'm just going to do a circular kind of motion and just buff it in there really good. And you ruined it. Hush. <laughs> I have to say that every life. I know. <laughs> I wonder if I'm good. Yeah. It seems to be adhering to the resin a little bit. No. But it might be kind of cool. Since everything else has already that old worldly kind of look to it, it might be kind of cool. I get some speckles here and there. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Um, and <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to change out the trash can so that I have an empty trash can to put this into. You got it. Thanks. What I'll do is I'll literally put this board sideways in there and just kind of push all the foil off. It's looking pretty good. I don't have a lot of wasted products, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> yep. I'm going to have silver in my hair tonight. I'm going to bring you guys down right now. Oops. All right. You see how the silver here looks different from the silver on the foil. So sometimes it gives you levels of uh, color there by picking a different medium. Whoop. Click. Okay. Just very carefully try to put it into the trash can. And I don't know why I'm talking about an accent, but I am. Okay. You can show what I'm doing if you want to. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going everywhere. I may have to vacuum tonight. <laughs> You are making a mess. I am making a mess. I did a good job. I do a real good job. I excel at making a mess. All right, get up. <laughs> okay. a lot more than I thought I would. <laughs> what are you laughing at? But that's okay. I think I'm okay with that. I think we're gonna leave it as such. Let's say. I'm kind of okay with it being messy. What do you guys think? You know, sometimes things are happy accidents. Obviously, I'm going to get rid of the loose particles. But yeah, I probably should have let this cure completely until it was hard before I added any silver foil to it. Oh, well.
You like the messy too? Yeah, I'll just wait and get, brush off the rest of this part later. <laughs> You're hollering rustic. Rustic with bright, shiny silver. Isn't that kind of anti-rustic? But it kind of is. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, a muck, a muck, a muck. <laughs> I hear that in my head, too, whenever I hear somebody saying a muck. All right. Well, I'm happy with this. I'm going to leave it. This makes me smile. All right. Check out the website, clairelawrence.com. And also check out the Artist Haven tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, for Tish's uh, Artapalooza. Because we'll be hanging out and goofing off and creating lots of goodies. All right. I am heading out. And, and I'll see you next. Okay. Mikey took a Tuck the phone away from me. Yes. Rude. We got to have your pretty face on there. Uh, okay, but probably I have silver bits all over me and I just don't know it yet. Right. Love you guys. And I will see you next Tuesday. Later.